This summer, my husband and I are taking a vacation to the island of St. Lucia in the Caribbean, and I just placed a major order from Shein to see what I wanted to pack with me. Okay, this video is gonna be a little bit different than what I've put out in the past. So if you're typically someone that watches my videos for my family vlog content, then this might not be as interesting to you. Check back next week when I do another day in the life of a pilot wife. I put together this video specifically because I'm always looking for great deals and great quality clothing. Um, my style changes pretty quickly and sometimes so does my size too. Like I've gone through maternity and breastfeeding and postpartum and now back to normal. So I've done a lot of shopping online because with a baby, that's just the best way to go. I've found some amazing pieces for vacation and then some total duds. <laughs> and so I thought I would try them all on, share all the details to each of the items below. This is not sponsored. I paid for all of this. I'm not affiliated with any brands. I'm just a teeny tiny little channel with a hundred followers. So nobody else is paying for this, but me. I just wanted to share because it's a lot of fun. And I really like finding items that I feel really good in and are really affordable. I know also for me, vacation, I take so many pictures to share with other people and look back on memories and I want to feel really good about myself and what I'm wearing has a lot to do with that. So today I have a huge try on haul from Shein which is a very affordable brand online. You've probably heard of it um, and not everything is amazing. Not everything is great. We'll go through the highs and lows together and if you like any of these pieces you can find the description with the information below but like I said I'm not sponsored. I'm not getting a commission off of this. Don't Think I'm trying to sell you anything here, just trying to share what I like. Everything I'm going to be wearing in this video is from Shein, including the shoes, the sunglasses, and the jewelry, with the exception of one tank top that I paired with a skirt, and I'll point that out when we get to it. I wanted to make mention that most of the pieces are backless or have really thin straps, so the sticky bras are an absolute must. They come in two packs usually, they're really affordable, and they're pretty much required for every outfit I'm going to wear. Okay, let's get started. We're on a time crunch. It's the little Mrs. Nap time. And we're gonna start with evening wear or dinner outfits. So a lot of the restaurants at the resort have a dress code more on the formal side. Fine by me, I love dresses. I love an excuse to dress up. And so that's what we're gonna start with before we head into more active and beach wear. I put on these earrings and this palm tree necklace because I thought they were pretty neutral to go with everything and they're a fun little way to dress it up, but I have a few other options to pack with me. Okay, we're starting off with something a little bold. We're in the tropics, it's vacation, it's a formal restaurant. How often do you get to wear something like this in Boise, Idaho? I love an excuse to dress up. I like a pop of color. I like a neutral moment too, but this just seems like a lot of fun to wear to the hibachi restaurant or sushi or just a night of dancing. Um, I think it's very flattering, especially if you are on the more flat side. Um, it is stretchy, so it will fit no matter what size range you're in. And overall, I think it's just a really fun piece. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't know. I, I would say maybe I'm feeling like a six, seven out of 10. I think it's very fun. I think for a tropical summer vacation. I want a fun maxi in these bright colors. I like the little cutout here, the fun tie. It is a halter top with a very low back. Love that. Now that I'm looking in the mirror, I don't hate it. I like the neck. It's this part I don't like. <laughs> we'll see. I already cheated and I knew that I loved this one. I busted it out and I wore it for Easter and to a couple barbecues already this spring. It is so fun, flowy, I like the quality. I do think if you're gonna be in full sunshine, it would be wise to wear like some biker shorts underneath or I've worn like dark blue spandex shorts from running. Um, overall simple, I like the pattern, it's a yes. I love this one. I just bought this one as a fun, simple sundress for the daytime. That's exactly what it is. I think if it's breezy outside, I'll pair it with a denim jacket. I could wear it with this little sun hat. Oh, I didn't even realize this. It has a strap to help keep it on your head so the wind doesn't blow it away. I love that. Okay, let's see. Oh, 
sorry for my high pitched voice. Okay, I'd probably wear with more casual shoes, either like white sneakers or sandals. Yeah, I like this. I'm really liking this one. It's giving safari vibes. I don't know. It's got a collar, a nice belt. It's really good fabric. Like the quality feels really nice. I wish it had pockets. That's the only thing that would make it better. Aside from that, I think it's perfect. Um, I ordered this dress thinking it would be great for a day where we just explore the island. When we went to Grenada, we took one day where we left the resort, got a local guide, and just saw as much of the island as we could see, and it was so unforgettable. We learned so much, and so I'm hoping to be able to do the same thing in St. Lucia. I think this dress is very comfortable. It's going to be hot out, so it's nice, lightweight, light color, and perfect. I like it. Okay, bear with me because I do have a lot to say about this one. First of all, it reminds me like when I put it on, I instantly thought of the movie 10 Things I Hate About You. I think it's just that time era. I don't know. I feel like I should have butterfly clips in my hair right now, which is back. So I guess it's modern. I'm not sure. I do think it's a tad small for me. I think I probably could have gone one size up. I also think because of how tight it is and I'm at an all-inclusive, all-you-can-eat resort, I better wear this in the first couple of days because I'm not going to want to on day six or seven. Lastly, because it's already on the small side, tight fitting side, this seam is not doing any favors. Like that's one telltale sign that something fits too small is that the seams are not, you know, right down the side, but that's actually built like this. It has two seams. Um, so it does fit from the front I feel like it looks like the seam is pulling in where it shouldn't I love the color I'm really into this color right now there's the back some beautiful crisscrosses I like it I needed to get one size bigger I don't know if I'll feel comfortable wearing it at an all-I-can-eat resort <laughs> Okay, this is my last outfit in this dress evening dinner category. It's really fun, I like it. It's got double layer ruffle sleeves, a fun back. You have to forgive me because no one else is here to help me tie this. It really needs someone else to tie the back to make it look like it's supposed to. I kind of did the best I could. This color, I don't have anything this color. It's bold. It's actually my high school color. I wore this color uniform for four years running track and cross country, so maybe it's a little bit of nostalgia that's pulling me towards it. I don't know, but I actually really like this. I think it's super fun. So if you're into bold colors, bold cutouts, I say go for this one. Okay, we're gonna move on to more daytime active wear and then beach wear. Okay, we're back to that six, maybe five out of 10 range. I'm not a huge romper girl. Sorry if that's an unpopular opinion. Um, one thing that my husband has made me aware of is just how long they make your butt look. <laughs> it just doesn't seem flattering. And I think blue and white stripes for the beach, A+. Plus. Cute little tie, little buttons, ruffle sleeves. Love it. When I turn around, I don't feel my best. I feel like I could be wearing a diaper and no one would know. So I don't think I'll actually be putting this in my suitcase to take with me. I think this is going to be a return. Yeah, that's all I got for this one. <laughs> the top is not Shein. This was just something I had had from Marshalls from years ago. I think I'm just going to take a few of my own workout tops and pair it with this. It's got shorts underneath so I don't have to worry about a wind blowing up or bending over when I'm picking up my golf ball. Um, I think it looks super cute, super fun. I'm gonna bring it with me, not much else to say about that. So this one was labeled as a dress. To me, it feels more like a swimsuit cover-up. I did put a swimsuit on underneath this because it's very sheer. I don't think I'd feel comfortable just walking around with basic underwear on. So to me, it is more of a swimsuit cover-up, but that's what I was looking for. I really like the detailing. I'll show you a close-up. Um, little ruffled sleeves. I like the neutral color. I think I will be rocking this with these sandals. Oh, they match perfect. Yeah, I'll be wearing this a few times. Here's that detailing. It's embroidered. I think it looks really pretty. This is one of my favorite things from this try on so far. Top three for sure. Um, this is a swimsuit cover up and it's perfect. 
I've gotten a couple other cover-ups in past years from Shein that felt very thin and they actually snagged really easily like with my ring just taking them off putting them on snagged and then the fabric just started like the thread started coming out and this one is so durable feeling and thick I don't feel like that's gonna happen we'll see time will tell but overall I like it it's knitted it's got little buttons and more of an elastic fitted waist and then just flowing skirt so this will be perfect for me when I'm getting out of the pool and need to walk to the restroom or something and don't want to just jaunt along in my bikini so I really like this I'm really happy to have this on my vacation all right can't put this part off any longer so we've reached the beginning of the bikini try on haul I gotta admit I don't feel the most comfortable right now but we'll get through it so these are not a set they did not come together they're separates this is just a separate white bikini top with some nice little cutouts on the side it is padded the bottoms are little daisies. I loved the color. They're like a medium coverage. I personally like this neckline as opposed to like a triangle bikini. This is just what I feel most comfortable in now as a postpartum has breastfed mom. This was a fail. This was so disappointing. It was like $8. It was very cheap, but it was a cute cowgirl hat and it came in a plastic package that had been completely smushed. And I don't know how to get its shape back. I mean, what a dork. No, this is so... <laughs> like, what? But I am very bummed and I guess I'm just going to have to return this. And I'm not going to reorder it because if they couldn't ship it right the first time, why would they ship it right the second time? I don't know. We'll see. I'm really happy with this bikini as well. It's something I'll feel comfortable in wearing on the beach or at the pool. I don't know how to describe it, but it feels expensive, like the fabric, the cut. It just feels like I spent a lot more on it than I really did because everything that I purchased here was under $20 a piece. Price points, awesome. I like the shape of the top and like the fit of the bottoms. I do think that I should have timed this better when I had someone else here to help me tie any bows or straps in the back, but I did the best I could and I definitely see myself wearing this multiple times. This one's got a lot of bow ties going on, but I gotta say, I don't hate it. I like it. This one actually is one of the nicest designed, so it's very structured. It's not those little inserted pads. It's just a very structured top, a metal clasp in the back, as opposed to just strings that you tie yourself. So I feel like support wise, it's on the higher end of all the other bikinis that I purchased someone is awake and requesting to join so i only have a few pieces i'm gonna try to get through them and just bring her in to watch someone wanted to join and say hello hi you sleepy still okay you can watch This is one of those miscellaneous items I didn't really know how to categorize, but the Caribbean and St. Lucia in general have summer rainstorms. They're just like five minute spurts where it can downpour, but it's not cold out. But I did kind of want to get something with a hood, pockets, mesh, pretty cute. This is more of an athletic swimwear outfit that I got specifically for excursions. So I'm planning on us doing one excursion that we leave the resort, we get on a boat, um, we do some snorkeling, we dock, we have lunch on the beach. There's a lot of moving around and I wanted a swimwear that I would feel really covered in, and comfortable in. I didn't want just like a small little skimpy swimsuit. So I opted for some swim shorts. These are full swimsuit material, ruching on the side, so adjustable. I did like the back. They actually didn't come together. These are separates. So I'll link the swim shorts and the swim top. Not a set, but they go together so perfectly. They're really complementary materials together, adjustable ties in the front and the top. And I really like this. So for the excursion day where we're a little more adventurous and we're exploring the island, I think I will opt for this outfit. Well guys, I think we're at our last outfit. I have a kimono style swimsuit cover up here. I think it's one size fits all. My last bikini that I purchased was for the day that I'm feeling more athletic in a swimming pool. So when we were in Grenada, we had such a blast playing volleyball with other guests in the pool. They were all complete strangers. We just started a game together and it was so much fun, but you're bouncing up and down and you're reaching for a ball and you're just athletic. So 
having a tube top or a little bandeau is not the most realistic for that moment. So I knew I wanted a top that I felt very supported in. This is it. Feels a little athletic. I feel like I'm a swim team member. The back is so pretty. I really love all the crisscross details. So as you can see, I think my Shein Tran haul was really successful. I think that's gonna be a wrap. I'm actually only there for eight days, so who knows if I'll even get to wearing all of this stuff. I'll let you know. I will do a whole vacation vlog. That is my normal bread and butter. These try on hauls is not, it's something brand new for me. So let me know if you liked it, if you found it helpful, if there was any more information that you need from me because this is my first time doing something like that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. I really like how athletic the back is and yeah I think I'll wear this on our little snorkeling excursion and feel very comfortable. Burnley does not approve. You don't like it? The belt I think the fabric is really good quality. Oh we have one more button here. Future Kenzie edit this part out. Probably not the best underwear for this.